welcome this is the channel where we chit chat we do daily vlogs where you can follow me along on my parenting journey i'm a mum of five i work part-time um, my oldest esmond is 11 and my youngest is two and a half so i have three boys and two girls hopefully you can gain some tips tricks advice um, by watching us uh, on what to do and also what not to do. Um, life isn't perfect and we don't always succeed, so there are a lot of failures and successes in life. Um, so hopefully you can learn and um, laugh while you watch us along. So I thought for today's video I'd sit down with you guys and chit chat about um, how it's been with to being off at camp for the first time. They've missed out two years in a row um, because of COVID. And this is their very first time off to camp. Um, it's our first experience of having um, any of our kids go off to camp um, and be without us for a decent amount of time. So um, Eloise, who is the younger of the older two, is away for three days and Esmond four days. So we'll be picking up Eloise this afternoon. So I thought right now would be the best time for me to chit chat about what I've noticed um, in the differences between having five kids and three. Firstly, the big difference is that I really miss my older two. Um, obviously, we are a family and um, they are a part of our family, so having them away um, feels like a piece of our family is missing, so we definitely, definitely miss them. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing them again soon and hearing about all the stories that they've had on camp. Basically, the biggest difference I've probably noticed is um, the lack of help I've had. Um, I felt like I've gone back in time to having younger kids. Um, so obviously, as your kids grow older, they're more capable, more independent, more more willing to help um, and assist. Um, obviously, when you've got five kids, you've only got two pair of hands, so any extra pairs of hands to help with anything, grabbing something, helping a little one is, is great. So that's probably the biggest difference I've noticed is not having that extra help from those two big kids. They're really helpful kids. We've raised our kids to contribute to family and um, have an active role in um, helping out around the house. So they're really great at that. Um, and with them gone, I've noticed the difference, definitely with the house being a lot messier, because um, obviously I'm really the only one that will give it a good clean. I can still ask the little ones to help, but um, really it's up to me to give it a clean. And I realize because I've got the older kids to help out a little bit, I probably don't do as much cleaning as I used to when they were little. Um, and by cleaning, I mean, you know, packing up toys, you know, putting food, away and all those little bits and bobs through the day that creates mess um, not obviously thorough cleaning um, yeah so that's probably the biggest difference is the lack of extra help I've had over the past couple of days with them gone the thing I've noticed is that the younger children are sleeping more in the morning um, I put this down to just the older kids being more aware of time and obviously wanting to be on time for school and allowing themselves that enough time to get ready whereas the younger kids so uh, Ebony who is in the middle um, is in grade two so she still has to go to school but she doesn't have the older siblings to kind of update her on what the time is um, obviously when the kids were younger that was what I did but now that I've got older kids I find that they're actually really helpful in, in helping the little ones stay on track in the mornings and getting ready on time and knowing how much time is left to get ready for school um, and that allows me to get ready uh, myself. So I've noticed that the little ones are sleeping in first of all so they're not being woken up by the older ones who get up earlier so that they can get ready um, because the little ones aren't really aware of time they will just sleep to their heart's content which is great I can sleep in but when you've got to get up and go to school Probably not best so um, needless to say I've been running a little bit late to school these past couple of days so I'm looking forward to having my big kids um, help me with keeping the little ones on time in the mornings um, another difference I've noticed is less dishes so when you've got five kids you have a lot of dishes um, and laundry so with the older two kids 
gone there's been a significant drop in dishes and laundry i've not had to do as much laundry and as much dishes um the dishwasher isn't getting as full as it quickly as it used to and probably the last um, obvious thing that I noticed is that yesterday we took the little kids to dinner, which is something we used to do a lot um, before COVID and before we had four or five kids. Um, it was just logistically easier to go out with a smaller number of kids. So as we added more kids, we just didn't go out as much it just obviously takes a little bit more work to leave the house so it just wasn't something we did um, and it also costs a lot more when you've got more people to pay for so we went out last night um, and it was really lovely there are some of the things that we've noticed and I've noticed more so in the three days that our two older kids have been away and we've had three kids to care for as opposed to five I did once many moons ago read a journal article um, referencing the ideal number of children and it did turn out to be five. What um, I guess big families will know more so than those with less kids is that when you keep having kids, the older kids get older. So it's not like I have five little kids to take care of. I really only have two little kids and three big kids that are capable of looking after themselves obviously if you raise them in a way to be capable and independent so i think that is why they say maybe five kids is an ideal number because you obviously get the benefits of having kids that are helpful and also the joys of having five kids which i i think is pretty amazing and doesn't compare to anything else but i'm sure everyone will say that about their own family anyway i hope you gained some insights um into differences between having five kids and three kids from our experience of three days obviously it's not going to be the same for everyone um but <laughs> that's what i experienced uh more so we have a little visitor right on time for me to say goodbye anyway thanks for watching please subscribe and follow us along um and we'll catch up soon